we're coming to a screechy hop. We're both sides of the road here. Look at this, the trees over the road. So uh, nobody's going anywhere. So let's, uh, what we're gonna do is get a chain and see if we can pull this tree out. G'day everyone, Johnny from Road Train Adventures back again with another story and this time we're looking at trailers. So we're going to start looking from the front all the way to the back and um, see what kind of pass we see. Now the first thing we see is the dolly. Now why am I bringing up the dolly? It's because, well the semi-trailer on a road train sits on top of this dolly. It sits right here as you can see and the dolly is connected via with a ring feeder. Well, we've seen the ring feeder before, so we won't look at that too much. But how's everything connected? Well, everything's connected via these pipes. So we've, we see a blue pipe, a red pipe, and this black, well, that's an electrical cable. So first of all, what do each of these do? So in the red, this is when we uh, apply the, or take off the handbrake, the brake, handbrake is going to supply air continuously down this red pipe. What that does is release the maxis. The maxis are what holds the brakes on at all times. So that's gonna release the brakes when we depress the handbrake to take it off. Now, when we put our foot on the brake pedal, it sends air down the blue line and the blue line will, will basically put the brakes on so red line keeps the brakes off and the blue line which is called control is going to slow the truck down or slow the trailers down so this black cable well that just supplies all of the electrical information so um, you know your brake lights tail lights turn indicators and stuff like that if this is a more modern trailer we might have another plug yes we do have this plug here but that plug's not in use. We might have another plug called EBS. EBS controls the, like the ABS. It uh, controls the um, anti-brake skid and um, all of the, the basically stability controls. And some parts of the dolly that might be important is the yard brake. The yard brake takes the brakes off. So that releases the brakes without having to supply uh, air down the resupply and if I were to pull it out so that's now applied the brake again. Something else that's important on dollies is when we have airbags which are basically all dollies we have this dump valve. What the dump valve does is release the air pressure from the airbags. So the airbags are pumped up as you can see and if I were to press this button Oh, sorry, pull it off. It goes down, and now if we just pull it back out in order to pump it back up, as if we don't want it to go down. Why we release that is when we go, uh, well, let's just say if we were to drop the trailer, if we were to drop this trailer, once the turntable comes all the way to the front here, of course, what's going to happen? The turntable with no weight on it is the whole dolly is going to go up and we don't want that. So basically we, we drop the airbags so once the dolly moves out the airbags don't go all the way up and then they will fold up and they make trouble. Now something you see on all the trailers are these little lights here, the clearance lights. These clearance lights are a mixture of two colours and so we've had red in the back and orange at the front. So when you're looking on this angle, all of the lights are going to be red. And if you look at it from this angle, all of the lights are orange. And that tells other road users and trucks especially what's, uh, what direction we're going in and yeah. Then one of these, like this one here, has our indicators in too. So if you're, in, um, if you're driving beside me, you're going to be able to see that flash. So you've got the indicator there flashing. Then you've got this indicator. 
and it all indicates it all the way along it, but not everywhere. Now let's move to the passenger side, and that's where we have our toolboxes. These toolboxes contain all of the straps, and in this one, all of the chains. Then we have this toolbox, which is our angles for the bolsters, and that's when we have pipes on, and you'll see those poles that stick out the side. And in this toolbox, there's our bolsters, the, 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 the poles that go up on the side of the trailer. And then of course we need to have timbers. And these timbers are used for, well, in this circumstance, to hold big cables on, or putting, what, well, any kind of load on. Now, for those of you who need to wash their hands and do a bit of dishes like, uh, you know, your breakfast cereal. We have these water tanks, and here we can, well, have a bit of water. Now, just like our dolly, which has airbags, these trailers have airbags too. So here, of course, there's airbags that side, and then you'll see on the other side too. So what do the airbags do on a trailer? Well, basically, let's just say this trailer was empty and then we put a load, let's just say we put a heavy load on it. The trailer, of course, is gonna be weighed down and go down. So what there's, what's gonna happen then, the ride height valve is gonna detect the load and it's going to basically supply air to the airbags in order to pump them up. But it's gonna keep the trailer at the, at the same height at all times. So whether you're light or heavy, it's going to be at the same height and basically keep everything steady. Next, we have our container pins. Right there, that's one of the container pins. And we have container pins at different points. What that does is just allow you to carry containers, 20 foot or 40 foot, 10 foot, whatever containers you want to carry. Well, there you go. I think you're a full bottle on trailers now, aren't you? Anyway, if I didn't cover something that you want covered, uh, leave a note in the comments and I'll try to get it the answer to you. Well, I think that's about it. It's, uh, I'm glad that you've uh, stayed with us all this way. Now, don't forget, uh, let's see what happens about that tree across the road. Well, it appeared to have found ourselves a bit of rain. It's uh, raining heavily at times. It's uh, basically gay. Okay. This is cooler than it's ever before. Alright, let's get a chain, pull it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, they all got a chain. Yeah, me too. Um, which way are we going to go? Okay, uh, probably back your way. I'd say it might be here. You just pull the top of the tree around. I'm grabbing forklift off, fellas. Okay. Oh, someone got a forklift there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I think, mate. We're coming to a screeching halt. We're both sides of the road here. Look at this, trees over the road. So uh, nobody's going anywhere. So let's, uh, what we're going to do is get a chain and see if we can pull this tree out. So this guy's got his fork out. I just really don't think he's going to be big enough for that. I was going to get, I'm ready for my chain and we're going to go forward. Anyway, let's just move up forward and um, have a look at this. That little tiny thing, <laughs> that's only going to carry a little bit, but anyway, we'll see what happens. You might get a bolt. Teamwork. Well, the fourth thing's working for a bit.
Who says truckies don't help? Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. It's just moved it like there's nothing. Okay, we just tidy up here. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Before any um, state emergency services can come through, well, we're done. Oh, look at that headlight out, isn't that nice? All right, let's get in and um, we'll go. Yahoo. Oh, look at the traffic behind. Well, this is transport in the bush. <laughs> 